Look at that, hey? That's freaking cool looking. Looking a mile down below from the waterfall. Hope you guys aren't afraid of heights. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to finish up the build, the architectural part, anyways, of uh, our steel factory here. We have the roof to do, and then we have some trim work to do, and some stuff to do uh, along the backside. And, uh, yeah, so let's get started with this. I didn't really make any blueprints for the roof. Uh, piece itself because it's not really it's fairly straightforward we're gonna need to probably come up with some kind of a trim solution for that business though um, I didn't hadn't even really thought about that but yeah hmm I wonder what we could do with that we might be able to grab like painted beams maybe and do something like this that would definitely work except for that we want to be out a little further uh, no that's wanting to go the along the other direction Okay, if we start, okay, if we start there, and then if we started here, and then if we got, say, the double beam connector, hmm, don't know if I like that a whole bunch. I'd like this to, yeah, go out. Oh, okay. We can bring it out a little notch that way and a little notch that way. That works. Yeah, that works. Um, not sure if I would keep the blue there. I mean, the colors do work. It's just that really isn't any other blue anywhere else. I'll have to think about that. But, I think this is probably as good of a solution as anything that I can think of off the top of my head anyway. Let's bring that to there. And we can, oh good, we can even connect directly to it. I'm going to leave these blue for now, but I might I might change my mind on that. We'll see. I mean, it, it do, it's not like it doesn't work, you know. The colors work well with the grays and the dark grays and all that. Um, so I might, I might just leave it that way. Um, no, we don't want to do that. We want to go to there. The other thing, too, is that... This is technically supposed to be a, a logistics floor, but we're not we're not building out another floor, so probably just gonna leave it as is and maybe we'll put some rails up there. In fact, if we did put some rails up there, uh what it would what it what would industrial railing look like? Especially if we turned it I can't Okay, I can't tell which side's which from down here. I think it would be that. See, that that has the blue on it as well. Right there. Okay, we'd have to 
We have to do something about that. That could work. Um, if we did do a different color, I'd probably either do unpainted or carbon steel. What does chrome look like? Not sure. I like that. What does carbon steel look like? Yeah, see, carbon steel matches a lot uh, more with, like, the trim of the windows and stuff. <coughs> so, that would definitely work, too. Well, let's finish this running this trim out. And, of course, I'm going to need to do this down on the other floors, too, but I'll probably do that off camera because you get the basic idea. What if we started this from here and went this way? And then can we just take it all the way out to here without having to do that little short piece that we did? And then attach... Okay, see, now... Doesn't like that. We'd have to. Yeah, that works. Right? Did that work? Yes, that worked. Well, sorta. Of. <laughs> this one came together a little more cleanly. Um. Maybe that is the right move then to to do that. If I move this over one and then go down, uh, cut it out. And then do the little piece coming off of here. Yeah, it's probably just has something to do with the way the foundations are overlapping up there. You know, we got that flicker thing, too. Um, does that go away when we do this? Not really. Yeah, see, that kind of sucks. Not sure what we would do about that. What if we colored the concrete a darker color? No, that doesn't really do much for us either, does it? Okay. Well. Let's just go ahead and run with this. Okay, let's come up here. Oh, I do have that backwards. Uh, at least over on this side. But I almost think that looks better, though. Um, yeah, I think I do like that better. So let's... Let's reverse these. If we're not going to show the blue beams, which I don't think I want to do, then we want to also not show it on this side. Well, uh, you know, from down below. Yeah, that'll just have to glitch into there. Ah. Uh. Let me uh, let me go ahead and get the rails in place for this upper piece too. We're not doing anything down there. Oh, thought I put that piece in.
Very good. Okay, yeah, so like I said, I'll go along and do that on, on the, the first and second floors too, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, let's get started with this roof. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start in this corner here, and we're going to uh, put... We're finished with this toolbar, so let's just reuse this one. Um, I do have a few blueprints that we're going to use, but before we do those, let's go to... Uh, let's see, what do we want? Architecture. Okay, so I want outer corner 4 me meter. We'll put that in number 1. And flat roof. We'll put that in 2. And we want to go to here and get metal roof and I'm gonna want um, flat metal roof we'll put that in three let's go to walls I'm gonna want ramp wall four so we'll put that in four and I think that's all we need for the roof let's go to our blueprints and we're gonna put Back wall walkway trim in five and glass sidewalk in six. And we'll start with that. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take this corner piece and put it like that. Oh, I am actually missing in another rather important piece. Uh, let's go back to architecture and we'll go to glass roof. And we want the four meter uh, roof piece. Um, why don't we put that in four? No, actually, I want that in two. We'll put the flat roof in three. I'm just kind of doing this based upon how frequently I'm going to use it. Flat roof metal in four. And then um, let's put ramp wall four and five. Go back to blueprints. Back wall, yeah, walkway trim in six. And then glass sidewalk in seven. I don't think we'll be using back wall eight, but we'll put that in there anyway for now. Oh, and then also let's go back to architecture and I want catwalk T junction in nine and catwalk corner in zero okay so that sets up our toolbar now we're going to take uh, the four meter roof and we're going to put one there and one here and then we're going to put another corner piece like that okay now let's hop up here and we'll get this piece and we'll zoopity doop it on down to the end. Okay, let's come over here and we're going to grab uh, this and bring it out to here. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put another corner piece there. Another corner piece there and here. And then this corner piece here. Uh, there. Like that. And then we'll run these back down this way. Okay. Now uh, we're going to run those to about there. So, I believe that's what we want. Okay, now let's go over and do the same thing on this corner. So we'll start with the outer corner piece, and then we'll put the that in and this in, and then do another outer corner piece here. Run these on down. Extend.
thin that out. Outer corner piece. Four meter roof. And then bring these together. All right, and then let's also, like we did over here, do this side to there and this to over there. I wanna do one more. All right, good. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. We actually need to, for, the, for this front part to work out correctly, we need to follow this pattern down here. Um, so starting from here, let's take these back up. Um, okay, so if I put this here and then bring it back to there, I think that's correct. And then lock that one in place there and... Bring it to there. Oh, no. You know what? I didn't do that other one right. Here. We'll use our... We'll use our jetpack. Well, I think it just needs to come in one more, though. To there. Half nudge. That's what we want. Okay. Right. Right. Lock that in half an inch. There we go. Okay, now we run those down to the... to here. Ouch. Very good. Uh, we need to do the same thing on this side. Following the, our little pattern here. Our intentional pattern. The one that we meant to do. So I think that was there and then a half nudge. And that was one. Why isn't that letting me move it? One, two, half nudge. Yep, that's correct. Okay. And then down to here. Okay. We're also going to need to follow this the same pattern here for these guys. So let's... Let's start by putting in... You and then we're going to want to run over two, do the same thing here. Okay, hold on. There. to go here. Alright, I need to 
get off the jetpack for a second and get it to line up on that's right yeah like that okay now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put another one of these in like so and another one like so and then we're gonna put one in on this side like so and that kind of creates a cool triangular pattern thingamadoodle right there let's do the same thing on this end And that takes care of the front. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go work on the back first. So let's come down here. And I want to go ahead and build these this back wall piece out. Um, we probably will also do the logistics floor too, just so the pattern stays, um, consistent. All right. I want you, oh, no, you come back out. You go there and come back here to there. Let's go over and start on this end. Didn't quite hit it. There we go. And then we'll put you there, take you all the way in, and then sometimes it doesn't go all the way in. I don't know why it's really weird, but that's where we want it though, so it works. Come back this way until you hit right there. You know what? I'm. Mm, hmm. I might not do the logistics floor on the back because I have something else in mind. So let's not do that. And then if I change my mind later. Uh, you know, we can, I can always redo it. Okay, now we're going to just zoopity doop all the way down. Except for we don't want to go any further than that. Okay, let's put you right. Actually, I don't think we want those pieces either. I gotta make sure that's correct. Yeah, okay. I, di I didn't want it lined up on this other piece that we protruded out a little bit is a thing, so. All right, zoopity doop on down. Things are gonna get really weird in this spot. Um, I'm just gonna let you know that right now. I, I didn't know. I mean, I do have something I'm going to do there, but it's not perfect. But I'm not sure what else I can do in that spot. Okay, take these. Uh, no, those stay there. And they should be lined up on the pillar, which they are. Okay. Okay, let's... 
let's bring that down to there and that down to there Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back over, we're going to go back to the front. And in this spot right here. Do this. Yes, I can. Okay, good. I'm going to put that there, that there, that there. Right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... I'm going to make myself a scaffolding. And I'm going to take and run uh, Oh, you know what? I need a normal wall. Let's see walls. Turn this to steel. Uh, right. Okay. Let's run that back like that. And then we're going to grab one of these windows and attach it right here and run that down that way. And I, hmm, I might have, I might do something different with these rails right there. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we'll just leave them there as this kind of part of the decoration. Okay, let's jump over to here. And we're going to grab that and run that out that way. And then we're going to grab you and run you out this way. Actually, let's go ahead and go down. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That looks right. So let's go back over here now. And we'll put you there. And you there. And you there. And you there. We'll finish this one out as well. Looking good. Okay, so this little thing that I just did here, I'm going to do the exact same thing over in this corner. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in these three sections with flat glass roofing. Um, and again, we want to follow this little pattern here. Now, it's important for this that we make sure that the thick part of the glass is facing towards the back so that it first of all has a nice even seam up front but more importantly is consistent all the way back 
and you know doesn't because if you flip those around then the pattern gets off and we'll just have you know the little overhang back here. well it's not really an overhang but this part that protrudes a little bit in the back I I wish they would not have designed these windows this way I wish they were con um, uh, symmetrical on both sides but they're not so that's what we have to work with Um, and also, we don't want these here, because that's where our pattern is, our new pattern. I know we didn't do that in the back, but it's okay, because we needed to do the back even with the tiles for how we're going to end up doing the, you know, finishing out the roof. Okay, so let's lock this here and nudge it back to there, so it's lined up here. Alright, and then this one goes like that. And that gives us our, our pattern. Then the rest of them can just stay even with the uh, with the front there. All right, great. Now uh, we're gonna do the same exact thing on on the other side. Okay, now the middle uh, part is just gonna follow. Yeah, it's just gonna follow again the same pattern um, where we'll have this piece here that we'll have to do different. So the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna run the sides back first of well, the first three sides oh, wait a minute did I get that in the right position yeah you really got to watch that it's gonna be more we're gonna also be putting some flat metal roof standards even more important with them because it's easier to th get thrown off without it being obvious with those windows or uh, sorry roof pieces I wish the damn thing would just stay the direction I laid it last, but it likes to likes to flip around. Um, okay, so let's do another one here and another one here, and then this one we want to line up on the center here, and then run it back like so. All right, cool. Let's finish it out back here. Looking good. Okay, so that concludes the glass part of the roof. The rest of the roof is going to be metal. Reason we're going with metal is because we're going to have to clip some pieces into each other uh, and you you basically can't do that with glass I mean I kind of did that here but it's only because it has kind of a cool looking triangular pattern so I feel like I can get away with it but what we're going to do to fill in you know these little kind of weird obtuse triangle sections isn't going to work with glass alright so let's grab our metal windows now it's really important like I said that we have these going the right direction or we're gonna screw ourselves up so we want to start on here um, and it's kind of hard to tell at first which part is which but see how this is kind of overhanging over here I think we want to flip this around yeah so that way it's you know, it, it's even, it's not doing the overhang. It's the same idea as this. It's just that, like I said, again, it's harder to tell with these roofs. Okay, then we're going to run this all the way back to the back. See already, I think that's off. Shit. Um, 
Well, the the part that I zooped should be fine, but I think when we start this one, it decided to reverse itself on me. Yep, it sure did. Look at that dirty rat. So see how it goes further out this way? We want it to be here. So if you happen to be doing this along with me, make sure you pay attention to that. All right, we're going to do the same thing over on this side where we're going, you know, straight back here. And again, we want to turn it this way so it's flush up against there, zoop all the way back, and then watch this next one. Make sure it doesn't... Yep, it flipped itself around on us. You doity rant. There we go. Okay. Oops. Okay, I think we're looking good. <clears throat> now, what might be useful here is for us to put down a lookout tower so we can get up in the air a little bit. Okay, so we're going to grab the roof piece. We're going to attach it to there and make sure it's the right direction. And we're going to zoop it along this angle all the way back. Oh, I fell off. All right, and then... Again, making sure it's going the right direction. We're going to do that. And then basically what we do now is we just go on back like this all the way back. And if we do it like this, the, the good news is, at, is that... Um, we have a nice, even kind of sawtooth pattern again in the part that merges. So even though it kind of sucks that we have to merge it, at least it will be a consistent pattern. It will be, uh, yeah, consistent. That's the word. All the way down. I'm just trying to be really careful to make sure that I keep these going the right direction or it'll throw it all off. And that looks right. Okay, cool. Okay, so when we get back here, things get a little kind of jank on us. Um, what we got to do here is we've got to... Let's put this piece in. And then what we're going to have to do is put a piece here. Put that piece there. And then we're going to put another one here. But we're going to nudge it over to, to there. And it's just, again, it's just kind of weird. This corner is really weird. <laughs> okay. Then what we're going to do is this. And this this is really just about the only part of this build that's not really super good, but I don't know what else to do, you know, because of the way 
comes together. Um, I wonder though, now that I'm looking at this, what would happen if we pulled this back? brought this out one more to there see it puts these two corners a little bit closer to each other if we do it that way and then what we would do is notch that over to there like that. Except for I didn't mean to put this second one in. And then what we would do is put you there and nudge you all the way over to here, probably, to cover that. I think I like that better. Okay, let's put these pieces in. And again, the only reason I like it's a little bit better is because it just brings these two pieces a little closer to each other. Um, and then I think what we'll do here is we'll just put a couple walls in. And I, I have no idea what what to put here. I mean, I could cover it, right? But then it's going to look weird from down below. So, I mean, what would a, what would a, um, what would this look like? If we put that there, and that there. It, st <laughs> it still doesn't completely cover it. And then we have this weird thingy overhanging here. So you know what? We're not going to cover this hole. We're just not going to do it because there's just... I can't think of anything that'll go in there that'll look good. Because it's just such a weird shape, you know? Okay, what if we did this? That's, that's better because it's hiding some of the jankiness and yeah, we can't do that or it's going to, it'll clip out the glass. At least we're not seeing all the jank that way, but maybe we'll go with that. Um, what we might want to do though is... Slide that in even to there, maybe. So it's not, you know, um, clipping out the window. Yeah, that that's my solution. If you guys have other ideas, keeping in mind, right, that that's not an even triangular spot. It's a weird, odd shape. Um, you know, let me know if you, if you have other thoughts. But... I think I could probably sleep okay tonight with this. <laughs> it's better than what it was, what I was actually going to do, uh, meaning I was going to leave that exposed. Um, yeah, okay. I think I can live with that. All right, very good. So um, we're. Uh, I'm going to basically do the same thing uh, over in this little triangular section now that I did here uh, with that little feature there. Okay, so let's get that done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are finished with the roof of our stadium, our steel stadium factory. 
to take a look-see out here. Uh, we need to turn fog off so we can see. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get that scaffolding out from down underneath there. What a view, though, huh? Kathunk. Just gorgeous. All right, so let's go down below now, and um, I'm gonna show you what the rest of the plan is. Uh, so let's go ahead and bail off the side here. We'll come down to here. Um, and we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna remove all of this because we no longer need it. So let's get that done first. Okay, let's actually start back here. Um, let me think. Yeah, okay. So, I have a, a blueprint piece. Uh, which is back wall walkway trim. And we want to turn it around and we want to... Uh, put it there and make sure that's butted up against there. And then this, bring this out to here. Now, if we put this in blueprint mode, we should be able to easily pop it in place. Did that go past the pillar? Uh, nope. Perfect. Okay, good. Now, we're going to find the direct... Uh, well, the center of this. I think this is 12. Yeah, okay. So let's go to 6 right here. And we're going to cut this out and this out. Um, right, okay. And then we're also going to cut these out. And we're going to put in a half foundation, two meter half foundation here. Like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the double ramp eight meter. And run that down to the water. And the idea for this is that, yeah, that's good. Um, I might in the future add some refineries to this factory because as you can see, we've got, <laughs> we've got a ton of room here, way more room than we need for a steel factory and probably even for producing, you know, uh, four, whatchamacallits, heavy frames. So if we decide in the future we want to add refineries and or water extractors, well, then this is kind of like a dock leading down to the water and we can build a pad out here. I'm not going to do anything with that for now. I'm just kind of future proofing it. All right. So that's what that's for. Now what we're going to do is we come here and we're going to grab uh, automated gates and we're going to put one there and one there. Excellent. Me likey. Let's come over to here. And uh, let's see, we have, yeah, let's grab our, our blueprint piece. And we'll put it there and zoop or nudge it out to there. Oh, well, there's something else I should have done first, but that's okay. And then we'll bring this out to here. Uh, 
and then this will just connect it right on over like so. Alright, what I want to do is I want to grab a doorway. And let's make sure they're steel doors. And we're going to pop a doorway in on that end. And one in on this end. There. Okay, and then this we're just going to cut away. Okay, so out here now, we want to put a, a corner piece. So I guess I put that on the toolbar, like so. Let's grab our blueprint once again. And this time we'll put it there, bring it over to this way and push it out to there. That looks good. Do it again. This one we can put in blueprint mode and snap right to there. Uh, wait a minute, what? Why are you doing that? It's being stupid. I... Is it... I wonder if it's trying to snap to a different blueprint and it's confused. Okay, well, that's fine. We, we guess we won't use blueprint mode for that. We'll just use normal mode. And that to there, and then out to here. Okay. And then I think what we'll do is we'll place a door... One, two, three, four. We'll place the door right there. All right. Um, this. I think I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Grab our blueprint here again freeze that uh, we're gonna have to get it out a little further okay now let's remove this and those two. That needs to change to a corner piece. And we're going to put a, uh, a door here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. That's... Yeah, that's the wrong direction. Okay. Now, <coughs> I've got this blueprint, glass sidewalk blueprint. And for this, what happens if I put this in blueprint mode? Will it snap to that? Uh, not the way I want it to. All right, let's not do that then. We might have to... How many, how many foundations? Three, three. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's put temporary scaffolding there so we can bump this up against here. And that should be lined up correctly. Yes, it is. Now, hopefully this will let me do blueprint mode. To connect these guys. Yes. 
Ah, I love it. Cut away all of this here. Now let's leave that alone for a second and we'll come back over here and get this side piece in. Um, so that's number six. Get out of blueprint mode. Turn you this way. Sure, you're up. Oh, that was too close. Come back over here a little more. There we go. Okay, will you behave in blueprint mode? Yes, you will. Look at you. Very nice. Okay, so probably right about here-ish. Actually, no. Let's line up with this door here. And since we don't have that big ramp on that side, how many over is this? One, two, three, four. The fifth one over. Okay. So we'll go one, two, three. Uh. All right. Let's do. Uh, let's do it this way. That's seven. So if we go three and put it in the fourth one here how what does that line up on that kind of that lines up on the door I, i'm sorry on the ramp maybe we'll put it here okay yeah i think that's what we'll do now let's come out here and we want one more of these pieces and a corner piece and a door got two of those up there Look at that, hey? That's freaking cool looking. Looking a mile down below from the waterfall. Hope you guys aren't afraid of heights. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now um, we are going to have down here, however, truck stations. Uh, so trucks will be coming down here to pick up, drop off, whatever. Um, probably mostly pick up and so that being the case what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna grab some road barriers I'm uh I don't know if I've told you guys this or not but I'm not necessarily a fan of these new road barriers I don't know they just they don't they don't do a whole lot for me to be honest with you so if we put that back in Zoop, we'll leave maybe leave it open there. Oh, look at that! That's bass backwards.
Make sure we got that going the right way. Uh, yeah, that way. No. Other way. That way. And maybe we'll leave that one open too. There we go. And that's pretty much going to be it for the basement or truck loading area. Okay, let's go up here now. Got a few more things I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to go way out here for a minute. So, where we have the logistics floors, I think we're just going to go ahead and use the same windows that we have been using, which I think are these guys here. But we want the steel version of those. Okay, so we'll do that. And of course, we'll do that along the of the other two sides as well. And then, you know, for for here, we're just going to use the same the same wall. Uh, wall walkway thingy. Just like we did before, except for of course, this time we won't have a ramp going down to the water, obviously. to there and out to here one more oh we're out of iron rods damn it Jim okay um, so I'll, I'll put one of um, you know these doors here uh, we'll put one here one there and one in the center instead of the big doors because there's no reason to have big doors on the upper floors all right so so we'll basically do that um you know here we'll do that up on this floor and up on that floor so the only other thing well and actually there's a couple more things i want to show you so let's let's go ahead and I will be setting hyper tubes up here too, of course, to get around because this is a this place is huge, <laughs> um, and uh, I think it definitely will warrant some hyper tube hyper tubes to get around in it. But what I have in mind for the very top, and the reason why I'm not putting in that second logistics floor in the back is I think we're just going to go ahead and run um, some metal walls, kind of as like an eave. Or a trim piece just along the top here and call it good so now uh, we might need well okay there's something else we're gonna do with these pillars too so let me show you that remember we had uh, we have this weird uh, thing going on right up there so what we're gonna do because you know we run into that all the way down right so what we're going to do for that is we're going to grab a small metal pillar and we're going to put it in here but i think we're going to do a half nudge here let me redo that so we're going to put it here but we're going to do a half nudge in and then zoop it down and that will cover all of those weird jagged uh, corners right that we had all along so that one will go at that angle and then we'll also put one on the back side that'll just be uh, straight up and down here. We might have to remove that first. 
Okay, let's bring that out to there. I think that's right, yeah. And then we'll just run this down. Like so. And that puts um, a nice trim on the outside of our column all the way down and hides, well, especially on this side, hides the weird thingies. Now, we still have that one up there, but what we could po possibly do for that is... Um, well, we could, we could run these pillars along the top here, too. If we do that, I did something similar to that in my computer factory build in update 8. Let's go up there. Uh, all right, so bring you out to there and What would it look like if we just did the painted beam here? Um Right, and then this one would go this way. I mean, we're going to be doing that on the inside anyways. And we could possibly even do this. Uh, well, no, we wouldn't do it there because we're going to have the walk wall walkway thing there. But maybe on the underneath side of the logistics floors, that could look cool. Um, this is might be where, too, where we would actually benefit from a cap. Just to hide that, you know? I'm still not 100% opposed to the idea of leaving this blue, just to add in a little, little color to the place, because it's all gray, grays and charcoals. Not that that's a bad thing, but... What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Should I, should I, all this trim that I'm putting down, so this stuff here, the stuff that we did on the inside, should I leave that blue? If you were me, would you leave it blue? I'd like to know your opinion on that. Um, okay, well, I got to get further over there. Yeah, but I think that's what we'll do, you know, for this, for this up here too, and I'll just run those along. All right. And I think, guys, that that's pretty much, uh, whoops, uh, pretty much the build for the architecture. So, um, I'm going to wrap up the episode here because I, it's getting late and I need to, I need to go to bed. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm ha relatively pleased with our, our solution we came up with here. You know, um, I think it does a pretty good job of hiding the jank. But yeah, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to finish this build out. I'll go ahead and put in the other trim pieces on the lower floors, but I will leave them blue. I mean, it's super easy to change the color, so it's not a big deal. But um, until I hear back from you guys in the comments, uh, I don't know what to do about this problem. Um, unless we put like a second trim piece. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. What would it look like if we changed the material to say like a grip metal? Oh no, that's probably going to be even worse. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's not going to work. Um, I mean, asphalt's the best. Well, no, nope, even, not even that really works very well, does it? Yeah, I'm just not sure what to do about that, to be honest with you. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll finish uh, running all of the, the trim pieces on the lower floor. Uh, I'll finish running all of the wall back walls and rails uh, on 
you know, on, on the back of the factory. So, you know, the next time you see it, it'll basically look like this all the way around and all the way up and with the windows in place. And I, I think I will um, maybe put that trim piece under here. Let's look at that real quick. Yeah, that'll probably look good uh, on the underneath side. Oh, oh shit, except for we, <laughs> we still got that clipping issue. Uh, I might be able to, I might be able to fudge that a little bit by lowering that trim piece down a smidge. It'll take a little bit of trickery to do that, but if we just lower it a little more beyond the edge of that, we, we probably wouldn't see the flickering. I don't know. But when uh, we start up the next episode, we should I should have this completely finished. And I will show it to you at the beginning of that episode. And then we'll get started putting the machines in. I'm going to need a little bit of time also to build out those blueprints. I haven't had time to do that yet, but I'll, I'll get her done. And we'll go from there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a sneak preview here. Some of you probably would like to see what it looks like. Especially out here. Just go into fly mode. And we'll also go into photo mode, and there she is course again not not completed in the back but done enough for you to to get the flavor of it that's pretty damn cool looking isn't it uh, maybe we'll take a screenshot right there that looks good that is so <laughs> so cool looking on the edge of that waterfall that's so damn far down but yep that is our reverse stadium build Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy indeed. Very nice. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. Yeah, we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.